Hi, hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss about controls in 3JS. That means how you wanna control your objects in 3JS. Currently we are going to use a cube, but I'm going to show you uh, other primitive uh, objects as well. So let's start. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet if you remember from the previous video we discussed about what all we need to start a normal 3d setup and we have implemented all this i'll go through the code again and we'll see which controls you're mainly going to use and in which scenarios it is helpful like some controls are helpful into rendering some data like you have a website you have you want to render a 3d product think like you can add your toys model there and you can sell it on a website with a 3d option and in that case which control you should use so that the user can see the model or if you want to make a game then which control you should use so all these things we're going to cover now you can see we have a two boxes means two cubes and one is green, one is red, as, as you're able to see it. And we can rotate that one like this. So in this previous video, if you see, we we are not able to rotate anything. Just means it, it's rotating itself, but we are not able to control it like zoom in and zoom out. But if you remember the cloth one that we are able to do everything with that same as we are doing it here. So I will go to the code now. And one more thing is we will integrate the 3JS with Angular. So it's not that different. So it's the same as uh, creating a method inside Angular and plugging that to the component. That's all. So everything will be remain same if, if you are doing in Angular, React or standalone 3JS. 3JS means standalone HTML and JavaScript files. I have created Angular 10 project and in that currently we have a component called primitive controls. Why primitive controls? We are using primitive object and I'm going to show you the controls of that. So uh, I have created a component. So on this series, I will going to create one one component and I will going to put because that will help to understand the flow. So what you can do is you can add 3JS as a javascript file on an index.html as we are using angular here i have installed it as a npm 3js so you can see it here so it's pretty simple it's, it's just npm install 3 and it will be installed means it will be available in the node module and that you can import it like this and if you are doing it with only the vanilla javascript and html then you can use the cdn like this to import the three so here what we are seeing is we have two objects. We are able to rotate it. We are able to zoom in and zoom out. If you if you remember, I told that when you are ro rotating the object here, we are rotating the camera. So that is a case of orbit control. So we have the orbit here like X, Y, G. So this is the front view. So this is our origin. So this point is our origin. And in that we have our camera little behind the origin and that how so if you are rotating like this now we are rotating our camera as it's rotate around the origin or around the orbit so it's called as orbit control so this is simple we have on in, in the on unit we are calling the main and inside the main we have all the files and inside main what we are using is same we have a canvas here with idh canvas and that that we are getting it getting here we have created a three webgl renderer you know what is a WebGL renderer. So it renders the three, 3D object here. And we are, we are using perspective camera with all this uh, like field of view, aspect ratio, near and far. So I have put far, long, far so that we can uh, zoom out a, a bit and we can see the object. Uh, okay, so that's the reason I have put 1000. And we are setting the camera position jet little, little this side. So, so the axis is like X z and no, vertical is the y so so z is here so you just put it like a little towards the z this is the control what we are talking about and the control is the orbit control so it takes the camera because you're going to rotate the camera and the renderer dom elements which is which it going to control then we have created a scene we have three lights 
the directional light as i had told in the previous video as well so the default target is the origin suppose this is the origin then if you put here it will point like this if you put here it will point like this and like that it will going to work and we have created a method called make cubes which is just take the geometry which we have here and the color and the position of x calling this method twice here okay so now in in our scene we are adding two cubes so two two cubes will be there in the scene and you already saw that i'll just want to show you all the primitives what we have so for that we'll go to our 3 js fundamental.org so here they have a lot of fundamentals and i'm also going through that so this will be a reference for the series and this is pretty good they have explained it pretty well and this all we can use so this is a cube the plane cone so all primitive object 3 js is giving us by default till now till date so it can be much more as well and here you can see all the code and i will just put the this link in the description so that you can go and check okay now we'll go to our uh, browser again so here what you saw it what is our orbit control so you are controlling your object with respect to orbit okay but here if you see that we have some problems here like uh it is not giving it's not a smooth motion so if you just if i'm just rotating like this it just staying in the same place where i'm i'm leaving my mouse or if i'm uh, zooming a zoom out it's fine so if i'm just panning or doing something like this so it, it's just staying in the same place and that will not look good in in some scenario like if you are uh, giving a object in your in your in your website and that's not good so we can add a damping effect throughout orbit control so we'll just go here and in the controls you can add like means enable damping to true and we'll go to our render method here and in every loop we'll update our controls behavior okay so the damping effect will look good now if we'll go to the browser means already in browser now if you see if i'm just leaving the mouse here then it's looking pretty nice okay right so if i'm just rotating like this so i, I have left the mouse so previously it's like just stopping like this this now it's a smooth motion so in that if you are putting a toy and if you are ro rotating when they left the mouse it will be slight animation kind of thing and that will look pretty good and that you can use it pretty well and in the future videos we will going to see how to use a toy or something and how to put it in your website as a product view and that feature will be pretty nice so please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss that videos or or any videos in the future so this is what a orbit control is so how you gonna control your object with respect to the orbit and one more thing i forgot to tell you that in the orbit control if you don't want this panning effect so here what you can do is controls dot pan if you write so you have pan speed so in which speed the user can pan and i will just write enable pan to false okay so here if i'll just save and now if i'll just go now i can't pan i will i can on just only rotate so it will always going to rotate with respect to the origin so in that case if you have a object to display and you created the object with respect to the origin means you you place the object in the origin so that the user will not be able to rotate it or pan it out from the origin so now we'll go and see some other controls what we have so for everything you can go to 3js.org so here if you go to the examples and if you just write uh, control okay so we have some control so what we saw this is the orbit control so if i'll just click here so this is the orbit control what we just saw in the drag control what you can do you can assign all your elements and you can put that element to the drag so now if you see i can drag this element one by one instead of like rotating the element so in that case we we don't have so in our case so if i go here so in our case 
we don't have a control o- over the object so we are not doing anything to the object we are rotating through in the orbit okay that's why it's orbit control and in the drag control you can drag your objects okay and you can put it anywhere you want so this is what our drag control is and this this is this is what i feel is is good so if you want this kind of scenarios then you can go to the core it is kind of pretty similar to what we have used in in the orbit control so you can understand that if you are giving a drag control to each and every object so in in our orbit control case what we add we add camera and the renderer but in this case if you see we have only one camera that is stationary that is not going to change but the models are changing so what you can do is here if you go and in the in the we have a drag control so in the drag control we are adding all the objects and this all objects there are 200 objects with random size so they have added all the objects to here and they have created some event listener to so on click so what you can do so i am clicking on the object so where you are clicking and according to that it will select the object and it will enable your drag event so you can just go through the code once to understand what what is there and it's it's not that complicated so it's it's pretty easy if i'll go to another one is our uh, point control so this is a first point shooter kind of a game so if we just go here if you can move like this so this is i'm going with with my keyboard and and you can rotate the camera so so, so means rotate with the mouse and the space bar is to is to jump okay so that all you can you can use by using our point control and again uh, to see the code source code you can always click on the source code and you can just go through the example here to mainly control you're going to use i think the orbit control you're going to use a lot so if you can see these all control we have so we just see point lock control orbit control this all you can check in in the in the 3js documentation and that those are those are pretty awesome so that's it for today guys today we saw what is controls in 3js and how you can control your 3d object uh, using using different types of control mainly we focused on orbit control and giving some damping effects to that so that it will look a little smoother and if you are facing anything with in any control you can let me know i'll try to make a video on on the same so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos and please share this video among your friends family colleagues so that they will also going to know what is 3js and how they can control their things in the websites and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below those are pretty helpful we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye